Hello, and welcome to Polaris. Today we will have a quick overview of the shading models available in the product. When creating your terrain, the wizard allows you to choose lighting model and texturing model. These options will determine how the terrain should look and which workflow will be used to apply color onto it. For existing terrains, if you want to switch between shading models, go to shading, context menu, set shader, this will bring up the wizard for you to do so. There are three lighting models for you to choose from, PBR, Lambert, and Blin Fong. Likewise, we have four texturing models, gradient lookup, color map, splat and vertex color. Now we will take a look at lighting models. In the example seen here, my terrain is using PBR mode. PBR mode produces the highest visual fidelity, you can have ambient lighting, ambient reflection and specularity with metallic and smoothness setup. You can see that I have applied some shiny effect along the shoreline here. Now I will switch to Lambert mode. This mode is simpler and faster, with less ambient contribution, no specularity and suitable for mobile platform. Similar to Lambert, select Blin Fong mode when you want fast shading with some specularity. Let's take a look at texturing models. Gradient lookup. This mode allows you to use two gradient to pick terrain color based on vertex height and normal vector, and use a curve to blend the two gradient based on vertex height. To get access to these gradient and curve, expand the shading section. I will adjust the blend curve first. A straight line on top means it only take color from normal vector, and a straight line at the bottom means it only take color from vertex height. We will see how color by normal work. Along the gradient editor, it will pick a color based on steepness, where the left side is for steep area such as cliff, and right side is for plain areas. I will pick brown for my cliff and green for other area. Next, let's play with color by height, first I have to drag the blend curve to the bottom. Along the gradient editor, it will pick a color based on vertex height, where the left point is for where vertex height reach 0, and the right side is for where vertex height reach the highest elevation set in geometry section. I will pick some colors for it now. Now you can use the blend curve to blend the two gradients. Beside these settings, Gradient Lookup Mode also allows you to overlay the albedo and metallic map on top of the terrain for things like road and additional detail. You can use the Texture Painter to paint on the them. Color Map this mode is quite simple, similar to Unity Standard Shader, it apply the albedo and metallic map to the whole terrain. Due to texture size limitation, this mode only suitable for small terrains, or terrains that act as minimaps. Splat. This mode is familiar to most terrain editor, where it stack multiple textures on the terrain and blend them using the control or alpha maps. This is exactly the same way Unity Terrain works. To assign textures to the terrain, create a new splat prototype group by right clicking on project window, create Polaris, Splat's prototype group, put your textures there and then assign the asset to its slot under shading section. Then, you can use the texture painter to paint Splat textures on the terrain. In the wizard tool, it has an additional option for Splat mode. For Splats, use a maximum of 4 textures without normal maps. For Splats 4 normals, use a maximum of 4 textures with their corresponding normal maps. 8 Splats. Use a maximum of 8 textures without normal maps. If you need more textures with advanced artistic control, the Micro Splat Integration Asset is the solution. Vertex Color This mode will convert data from albedo map to vertex color, which will produce a super sharp look for each triangle. To be able to paint vertex color, make sure you do the following things. First, expand the geometry section and set albedo to vertex color option to sharp or smooth. Select the texture painter, turn on force update geometry. Now, select albedo mode, pick a color and paint.
And that's it. See you in the next video.